Authorities responded to a heavily wooded area in Vass. After searching for several hours, they found the pilot. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer live at the Gilliam McConnell Airfield. And Kayla, we're told the pilot was near the airstrip. Yeah, he was near, the pilot was near his private airstrip, not this airstrip, but the owner of this airfield is telling us that he was a friend of the victim. His name was Charles Fitzgerald. He would often uh, come here and that he, the man who owns this airfield says he got a call from the FAA last night. That's when he knew something was wrong. They were asking if the pilot had somehow landed here, but he hadn't. A few hours later, the Moore County Sheriff says they found the plane crash on the pilot's property. That was less than a few hundred yards from the pilot's personal airstrip. Now, it was found upside down in a densely wooded area. The pilot was found inside. There were no passengers. We're told he was flying back from a trip to South Carolina yesterday morning, and a pilot who made the trip with him in a different plane reported him as missing yesterday afternoon. We're told that he was a retired soldier who was very well known and well liked in this community. Good guy, been around the world. A shame to get get killed right here at home. Doing what he wanted to do. He finally got him an airstrip and had his own airplane, his own hangar, and living the life. He was very well thought of throughout the community last night. I uh, love to play music, uh, bluegrass, so um, he just had a lot of hobbies. Great guy. The sheriff and the pilot we talked to both saying that the plane's canopy was not on the plane. They're still investigating the cause. The NTSB and FAA both have officials out here. We'll have more coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Moore County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.